Police have launched investigations into the murder of a mother and her daughter in Katani in Machakos County. Now, the two were shot dead outside their home in Cambia State. The daughter's husband sustained bullet wounds and is fighting for his life in hospital. Let's get more from our very own Hassan Mugambi. Frederick Mwangi and his wife Alice Mwangi were returning home from work in Lolongo where they operate a wines and spirit business when they were accosted by gunmen right outside their gate. The gunmen first shot at Alice's mother who was opening the gate for the couple before turning their guns on Alice Mwangi. Both were shot in the head. Mwangi on the other hand sustained a hand and leg bullet wounds. Lea Mikola a next door neighbor says she had seven gunshots outside Mwangi's gate. Ya tatu nikajua hapa na hii ni uvamizi. Nikatafuta simu yangu, nikapigia mzee wangu, ijua kama ametoka kwenye alikuwa kwa mkutano. Akaniambia ajatoka, nikamwambia tafadhali usitoke kwenye huko, kaa huko huko mpaka wakati tutakwambia kukosa hata ikiwezekana ulale huko. Alice's sister who also lives with the couple to have been spared by the gunmen presumably because of her status. She is pregnant. It is said that the attackers had taken cover behind this heap of stones waiting on their victims to arrive home and when they did so, the moment the gate was opened, they launched their offensive that left two dead and one injured. Chandaya. When you are the vichwa, but when you are the vichwa, you are the vichwa. Mishana, Dada ya Alice, you are the vichwa hapo. Akawa analia tatuwa wakimbizo hospitali, but police walisono wa shaga tayari. Detectives from Lolongo visited the scene to commence investigations into the cold blood murder. The detectives have recovered four cartridges from the scene of the shooting. Police are reading more into the murder since no valuable was taken from the house. Alice leaves behind two children. Mwangi is recuperating at the Shalom Hospital where he is said to be in a stable condition. The couple moved into this six-bedroomed house late last year. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.